This week we have the first of the two Dirt Oval special events on the iRacing calendar, the Knoxville Nationals. Let's go into the details. This special event replicates the real Knoxville Nationals event, obviously at Knoxville Raceway and using the 410 winged dirt sprint car. This event will be running one time slot every day during the week and then two super session time slots on Saturday. The weekday slots will be at 9pm Eastern every day from Monday 23rd to Friday 27th and then the super sessions will be on Saturday at both 11am and 9pm Eastern time. If you want these times automatically converted into your time zone, then join my Discord. I've got a channel there with all the time slots and it'll automatically show in your time zone. The link is in the description below. Now what is a super session? These are unique sessions which split by championship points rather than I rating like normal. So the idea is that you race the normal time slots during the week and earn championship points based on your results and then the top scorers get put into the top super session split on Saturday. In the past there was only one split for the super sessions which meant that if you didn't have enough points you wouldn't be able to race at all in those sessions. This isn't the case anymore, the super sessions will actually split based on championship points instead of i-rating. Any drivers with no championship points will be split below those that do and they will be sorted by i-rating instead so you won't have to miss out if you're unable to race the slots during the week. I'm planning to run that early super session slot with no championship points and I'll be streaming that here on YouTube and also on my Twitch, hopefully see you there or on the track. All time slots will feature a heat racing format, they start with 10 minutes of practice and a normal 2 lap qualifying session and then there's 6 10 lap heat races where the top 3 from each race will advance directly to the main event. For those that don't transfer, they'll go through up to 4 consolation races. The lower your heat result, the more consolation races you'll have to go through. The top four from each consolation race move forward to the next one. The top four from the last one move on to the main event. In the end, 22 drivers of a maximum size of 60 will make it through to the feature race. The caution laps do not count in the feature race, so it'll be 35 green laps of racing no matter what, but they do count in the heats and consolation races. The Knoxville Nationals will appear in your iRacing UI as its own series in the series list. Search for Knoxville Nationals and make sure your filters aren't hiding anything and it should show up. Since it's a special event, the registration period should be one hour rather than the usual 30 minutes. You'll need a Dirt Oval C-Class license to enter the race or a D-Class license at 4.0 or above. That's all the basics covered for this event. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I'll see you out on the racetrack.